This is the profile of the month with Spring Awakening cast member, Steffi D. Hey, I'm Steffi D from Spring Awakening. I play Elsa, and this is Freddie Hall. He's going <laughs> to be um, interviewing me today. By the way. I just turned 20 yesterday. Oh, yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, well, are you ready? Yes, I'm We've ready. We've got 10 eager fans waiting for you to answer their questions. Okay, I'm ready. Tiffany has a three-part question. Okay, three-part question. Tiffany wants to know, do you feel any pressure to represent Canada when you're performing? Um, not, not any pressure. I only feel excitement because I feel very privileged and very blessed to be, you know, one of the only Canadians in this cast. So, no pressure, but just excitement. And I'm just proud. I'm so proud. Awesome. Yeah. She also wants to know if the cast ever makes fun of you. Or tease you because you're Canadian. Well, you tell me, Freddie. I, I don't. Actually, a little bit. Um, a lot of people in this cast laugh a little bit when I say A at the end of sentences. I get picked on the most because I'm French-Canadian. Oh. So when my peers use words in the workplace that I've never heard before, they think it's funny when I just don't understand what they mean. And lastly, being a Canadian in almost an all-American cast... Yes. Do you find that they approach certain aspects of performing differently? Well, Freddie and <laughs> Tiffany, I think that, you know, the beautiful thing about this is that I think art is art and it's universal. And I think, you know, we all understand each other in that respect, I think, because we're all, you know, performing and doing what we love on stage. So I think that we just all understand each other on that aspect of things. Cameron who's just outside of Ottawa, Ontario. Cool, says, that's where I'm from. Oh, cool. <laughs> he thinks that you're really amazing. And Thank he you. wants to know, how would you compare being on stage in Spring Awakening and being on stage from Canadian Idol? I think that they're both pretty similar, actually. Really? Because I got to rock out on Canadian Idol with a microphone, and I get to rock out on Spring Awakening with a microphone. Um, I had never sung a pop song in my life before I went on Canadian Idol, mm -hmm. so it taught me a lot of things. And um, I'm so grateful for that experience now, because now I'm in Spring Awakening, and I get to kind of... So they were both very similar, but totally different, if that awesome. makes any sense. Well, which one, if any, makes you more nervous? Between both? They both made me really nervous. I'm always really nervous to perform, whether it's whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But there was something really scary about Canadian Idol because I only had one shot in yeah. front of millions of people and to do on this TV. one song, and it was live and on TV. And like that's that was really scary. And every time that I made eye contact with a camera lens, I knew that I was looking at like millions of people. So that's scary. But then again, theater is really scary because you never know what might happen. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We'll get to that later. Mark and Noel from Los Angeles awesome. want to know, if you were a Broadway producer, which musicals would you cast some of your cast members in, including this, yourself? Including myself. And why? Okay, I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. I prepared oh, great. on an envelope that I got for my birthday um, from Blake Bashoff. I wrote some <laughs> notes down. Okay. I think Kyle Ryatko should be Seymour in Little Shop of Horrors. Oh. I think Gabby Garza should be Maria in West Side Story. Mm -hmm. I think Julie Benko should be Clara in Light in the Piazza. Yeah. I think, or Christine in Phantom of the Opera. Christina Alabato should be Jasmine from Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Or Mimi from Rent. Um, Kamiko has to be Miss Saigon. <laughs> it's Sarah Hunt, but I, she's a great sweet charity, I think. She could be charity. Or, I was thinking because she's tall and beautiful, she could be in The Producers, she could be Ula. Oh yeah, right? oh yeah, totally. Right? Totally. Or The Lady of the Lake, actually, in Spamlock, I think. Andy should be in Hair or Spelling Bee. Mm -hmm. And I think that Ben Moss would be really good in Wicked as like Bach or something. Yeah. For myself, I really want to be in um, The Last Five Years, Avenue Q, Thoroughly Modern Millie, and <laughs> Angels in America. You could be really Millie. Be you could definitely be Millie. Millie, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I really want to be Harper in Angels in America. Okay, well, get this. There's another Steffi D out there. What? Yes. No, there isn't. There's another Steffi. With PH or FF? Yeah, PHI. PHI, okay. Mm. okay. Steffi with a, with a PH, um, D, sorry, wants to know, what is your favorite song, and if you could ever record with anyone, who would it be and why? 
Not gonna lie again, I had to prepare that too. Extraordinary Machine by Fiona Apple. Boats and Birds from Gregory and the Hawk. Green Grass of Tunnel by Mum. Talk show host from Radiohead. Yes. And Life on Mars from David Bowie. Great. And who would I want to sing it with? Yeah. I was thinking that I would really like to sing a duet with Liza Minnelli because I've been compared to her so many times. Mm -hmm. And Gwen Stefani, actually. Uh, I think she's wicked. Yeah. Okay, Psychopathic Sanity says, Has there ever been a moment on stage when something has gone wrong? A.K.A. props breaking or whatever. Or when the cast has had to ad-lib? The beautiful thing about theater is that you're never going to have a perfect performance. There's this really, really funny thing that happened once. We were in San Francisco, and I know that everybody remembers this. Um, and it was right before my scene, so that's why I think it applies to me. Um, so Blake was singing Don't Do Sadness, and takes out the gun. Really dramatic moment. And then we start hearing this weird sound coming out of the speakers that's like this. And then, you know, Blake looks up. This is right before I have to run in saying, more Stiefel? Let me tell you what that was. That was <laughs> one of our cast members peeing backstage, and his mic was on. And so everybody in that theater that evening heard Kyle peeing on the monitors. Olivia Me wants to give you a hot minute. <laughs> this is the hot minute with Steffi D. What's your full name? My full name is, check this out, Steffi Stephanie Marie Toscano Di Domeni Cantonio. What? What are your favorite colors? Um, I really like red and purple. Okay. What about animal? I really like flamingos and peacocks. Okay. Song to perform and or listen to. Touch Me is one of my favorites to perform. Mm -hmm. And Mirror Blue Night is my favorite to listen to and to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What quirks do you have? Um, I'm a brushaholic. I brush my teeth all the time, which is good and bad, because I'm going to wear out my enamel. Okay. Aubrey Marshall wants to know, Aubrey in a life-or-death situation, what is possibly the largest animal you could take down with your bare hands? I believe in talking things out. <laughs> so I would try to talk it out first. And if it didn't work... Or give us an example of really... what you would say to a tiger. <clears throat> um, I would maybe sing a song. Oh. I would sing a song and maybe put it to sleep. Okay. But I would avoid <laughs> killing any animal. Nicole wants to know, mm -hmm. if you could live in any other time period, what would it be? I would live hands down in the 20s oh, yeah. because they had the best style, I think. And right now, actually, can we get a look at this? Um, it's our opening night in Boston today and I thought I'd wear a flapper-inspired dress ah. with a long uh, string of pearls. And, um, you know, and I have my bob. It's okay, Antonia wants to know, mm -hmm. how would you describe yourself in high school? Um, high school was like two years ago. So, I mean, I'm pretty close to what I was, <laughs> let's just say that. Um, you know, but I'd say, like, you know, kind of colorful outsider type person. And uh, just, yeah, just really bubbly and, and I'm just always high on life, so, and I still am. So, uh, yeah, you know what, kind of, you know, what you see is what you get right now. But that's how I was in high school, I think. Steffi, did you know that you and Antonio have something in common? What is that, Freddie? <laughs> His name is part of your last name, too. <laughs> okay, and finally. Finally, question number 10. Question number 10, submitted by Rianne from Long Island, says... Okay. Well, first of all, she thinks you're amazing, talented, oh, and well, absolutely thank stunning. Thank you. That's so sweet. If you were found in a refrigerator, what would you be and why? First thing that came into mind was, like, maybe, like, a cupcake? Like, how about an angel cake cupcake? Well, you know, I'm a happy, positive person, and I think cupcakes look happy and positive. More ice. Oh, for the icing? Yeah. You know rainbow icing? Yeah, Betty I was Crocker, gonna say that. rainbow chocolate chip icing, or whatever it is? Yeah. I would go for that. Well, this wraps up the Profile, profile of, the of the Month. With Stephanie! With Thanks. two Fs. With two Fs. Bye!